Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Ruin Snow, and today we're going to do Let's Talk Legendary, and we're going to be talking about Abishin, the legendary Cephalid. So Abishin, he was actually the ruler of the Cephalid Empire that dominated the ocean depths around the continents Oteria and Dominera. This occurred after the Phyrexian invasion. To start, just to let you know, Abishan was a cephalid, and they were not high on the chain for a species in the ocean at the time. This changed, of course, when Laquetus and Abishan made a pact to urse up the royal merfolk who were a family that were in charge, as a result, taking their magical powers as well. Abishan also married the Empress Lawan in order to have a military alliance. After some time, Abishan became suspicious of his wife and became increasingly paranoid. Because of this, she was actually exiled away to another part of the empire and became more of a threat when people began to leave him to be with her. Because of the pact he Abishan had made actually trusted Laquatus, who was actually at this point an ambassador and due to the very increasing paranoia, he wanted to pursue the artifact Myria. And Myria was actually an artifact with unimaginable power. It could tap into the wielder's desires and make them real with a very good chance that a disaster or something would happen to them as a consequence of all these wishes, which would most likely turn out to be death. Abishan wanted the merman to root all the conspirators after doing all this stuff. Of course, since he trusted Loquitus, he took advantage of the situation and killed all the rival courtiers with false evidence. And by now, with the increasing paranoid even at its worst, Abishan withdrew from public life and rarely left his bedchamber. After some time, he got tired of being in the bedchamber all that time, so he decided to visit the royal treasury. While searching at the royal treasury, he found an artifact that changed him into an air-breathing form, and eventually he found the artifact, Myria, that could grant him the power to secure his empire. He looked into the orb, and it showed him a world made of entirely water. The vision started to become reality, and a great wave started to sweep and flood a third of Ultra's continent. The spell had started getting out of control, and Abishan started to shift from his guild and non-guild form. This also started to cause destruction throughout the entire palace, and Laquatus was able to find Abishan with the artifact and wanted it for himself. As the artifact was slowly destroying Abishan, he was still able to call the guards to stop Laquatus from acquiring the artifact, but at that point, Abishan was fully consumed by the artifact. Miria, and that was the end of him. So there is one card that Abishan is represented, as you can see and you've been seeing throughout the video, is Abishan Cephalid Emperor. It costs six mana to bring out that Cephalid legend. It says, tap and untap Cephalid you control, tap target permanent. Three blue mana, tap all creatures without flying. No one can fight the tide forever. Great saying. So there's only one card Abishan is actually associated with, as you can see, it's Abishan's Desire for one blue mana. Enchanted Creature has Flying, Threshold Enchanted Creature can't be the target of spells or abilities. That's a really cool card, I really like the picture, that's a very good picture of him representing him. So there are only two cards that Abishan is quoted or referred to, and as the first one you can see is Deluge, and it says, From the sea came all life, and to the sea it will return. The sooner, the better, Emperor Abishan. I just really like the saying in the card, especially for his desire for the world being full of water. And the last card that he's quoted in is Fervent Denial, and it says, Your tendency is admirable and futile, Emperor Abishan. And there you go, guys, and that is the entire video, and I hope you guys have a good day and a good evening.